Hi, this is Peter Kanetsky at Oxford College, and I'm here with Fro Zendrum. He is the director of our pharmaceutical manufacturing program. Thanks for talking with yeah, us. Thank you, thank you, Peter. The, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about the, what the pharmaceutical manufacturing program is all about? Yeah, thanks, Peter. So before I go and just jump in your question, just I would like to say that uh, what Oxford, what we do with these programs. Mm -hmm. So in Oxford College, we don't only teach, we train them and they become so familiarized with the outside world when they will be working and they can work confidentially and very confidently mm -hmm. they can work outside world. Mm -hmm. And in teaching procedure, what we call the curriculum is built up in such a way that they can work pharmaceutical, cosmetic and food and beverage. In training, just what we have, we have a class session and we got practical. Practical being that they got hands on. We got the equipment, say, state art equipment, we got it, that's what they will be using in industry. Mm -hmm. Same of the equipment we got it, the plant is built as for the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. So the plant and the floors, the wall, and the ceilings, and even the different pressures, we have monitored there. Mm -hmm. And the room is so well equipped with the equipment, with a lot of space, the students can work very safely, mm -hmm. like a, what we call that sheep, that refers, uh, she refers to safe horse environment. Mm -hmm. So they can work very openly and uh, very confidently they can work inside the plant. Yeah, so there's certainly, you teach them some safety measures, even like stuff like good manufacturing practices. Exactly. Yeah. Compliance with the GMP, which is very much regulated uh, in our side, they have to compliance with GMP. Mm -hmm. In Canada, we follow GMP, in the state, they follow current GMP, the CGMP, the same is the same thing. Same areas. The same areas, that, but they have to compress with GMP. Many of the industry, you have heard that they get citation for GMP if they don't follow the GMP. It's very strictly followed and regulated. Mm -hmm. And in, in teaching procedure is like that, so uh, the curriculum, they have to follow the curriculum. And in teaching, we got it in the class and in practical. Mm -hmm. So that what they teach is for the granulation, from the dispensing to granulation, then compression, coating, and then the scapsulation. These are all parts of the pharmaceutical manufacturing yes. process. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They, now, we uh, at Oxford College, we have actually have our own pharmaceutical plants here that you, you built a few a couple of years ago. Can you tell us about the advantages of using that for teaching? Exactly. Because they see the plant, uh, we have made the plant as for the pharmaceutical industry because when the students go or site working, they won't be so much confused working that they can work very confidently outside because they got the same environment what we got it inside here. Because they are doing just uh, the way they will be performing here in the same manner they will be performing outside the industry and all these things. They, now, once they've uh, kind of gone through their placement and they've uh, to, to teaching here, uh, they go on to the careers and can you just tell us about like, what uh, students might expect when they kind of go on to the workforce? Exactly. We are really proud to say that our graduates, they have been hired, before graduates, they have been hired with the world-renowned pharmaceutical company like Apotex, mm -hmm. Teva, Petron, and Cosmetic, they have uh, been hired by Cosmetica, then Matt and many others, they have been hired by and uh, we have uh, come to know that they are working very confidently there and they are very pleased to work there. Mm -hmm. they, well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you, Mr. Peter. It was great talking to you.